we can see to the map or to the window. Okay. And then we go to, wait a minute. Yeah, here we are still in processes. Now, because I want to show the window to the window, we go to models. It means we are we will go to our created model that we have created, okay? And you can see this is our model, the new model. Open, you see our 3D grid, okay? Because the, the name of our model is 3D grid. Open again, and you can see the skeleton of our model, the faults within our model, the horizon, and then the edges, intersections, right? Everything owned by our model, okay? Everything that describes the, the model that we created, okay? And the name of our model is 3D Grid. Now I want to show the 2D window. I have the skeleton, okay? I select the skeleton. You can see the skeleton in two-dimensional view. Okay, we have top skeleton, middle skeleton, and the base. Okay. Okay, I, I push the left button on my mouse. I hold, and it will be like this. If I scroll, I will zoom in, zoom out slower. But if I hold the left button, it will be much faster. If I hold my scroll, it will be like this. If I push right click, it, it will be like this, okay? Okay. And you can see this is the direction always pointing to the north, and this is the scale, all right? And this is a view, select, this is to measure distance and others. We will use these things later, okay? So this is the skeleton in to the window, two-dimensional window. Again, I want to show, but now in 3D window. Go to window, open the drop-down menu, find three-dimensional window. We have now 3D window, but still blank because we haven't selected anything. And now for 3D window, we select again skeleton. So now you can see, I push the left button. I have the skeleton for the top and then middle and then the base. Yeah, I just like this, I can do that, okay? I just throw the model and then it, it will Turn like this one. Okay. All right. You can see the skeletons. So far, so good. Okay. I will make them straight. All right. So far, so good. This is our skeletons. Okay. Now, from here, we go to window here on the left and you can see the 2D and 3D. The auto height is active. I want to make the auto height inactive. So I will maintain this view. It makes the, the view more comfortable without auto hiding. Okay, you can open the drop down menu. You can expand like this so that you have a better control. Okay, so far so good. We are still in models here. All right. And then, wait a minute, in 3D window here, you can see we have compass. We have access, we have automatic legend, performance indicator, light sources, artificial horizon, sticky cursor, interpretation window. 
not everything here is very useful at any time or, or always, okay? They are useful at specific time, okay? Now, for example, I need to know, I need to see the axis. Just select the axis and then you can see the axis. It's better. Okay, let's check. First, okay, minus 1,100, minus 1,000. So it, I, it means that our model is, yeah, should be like this. The top at 1,000 and the bottom at 1,100. So the thickness of our model is 100 meters. I make, I need to make them static like this. Okay. And then that's for Z direction, right? And for the X direction, minus 500 to the left and positive 500 to the left. You can see, right? Zero to the right or to the east, 500 to the west, minus 500 and then if we turn the model like this you can see to the north for 500 and to the south minus 500 and then you can see the increment of the grid is 50 and 50 okay so it it is very beautiful okay interesting and then from now, you can see for the 2D window, for example, show the axis also. Okay, so you can see for the 2D window, the axis, and also for the three-dimensional window, you can see the axis as well. All right, so far so good. And then if we go to the processes again, okay, processes. And if we go to the top, you can see corner point greeting. Okay. So it's corner point greeting, the, the greeting system using corner point. Okay. And then we need to create horizons. 